Okay, ready, go. Ready, go. Go. Um, your transition from PX to DAO is too quick. Okay. You don't have enough time in the transition. So when you start the vaccine, you have a little bit of leg action before you start the turning. Then essentially here, at this stage, you're spinning around about the vertical axis. So you have a little bit of leg motion here, and then when you start the vaccine, the spinning. Instead of image that your upper body is leaning forward, so your spine is here, right? Mm -hmm. Then the rotation should be about the spine axis here, instead of vertical axis spinning like this. <coughs> when you start the back swing, spinning, so the club actually goes quite flat here. And then at the top, it's not resting here, just go over the quickly coming down. You're rushing down quite a bit. This is because you want to hit the ball with uh, your arms. So what should happen is um, you should be able to feel the, the weight of the club head. Here. Then let it go, backswing here, and then mature the backswing, and then from here you're just throwing the club head here. Bring this down and then let it go. Instead of spin, and then just try to hit it. Yeah. Head is pretty heavy. And then down the line view. Oh. So at the beginning, the club head is uh, located below the hands. On the way up. That means that the club head pad is really stiff, uh, really flat. Up to this point, it moves. Then try to, you now try to lift it. So when you have flat back swing, flat here, so in the down the line view, the club head is located below the hands here. And you cannot continue this anymore because of the anatomical limitation. Then you start lifting this. So normally if you keep doing this, continue this motion, then club will show a crossover line. But you cut it short. That's why it doesn't look that bad. But if you continue this motion up here, you will see a severe cross, uh, crossover leg. Now lifting it up, you're stopping about here. But if, if you keep moving the club, then you will have to lift your elbow. Then the club goes a uh, crossover leg. If you draw a line head, uh, from the ball to the middle section of your trunk here, you will see the club head is uh, deviated from the swing plane more than the hand. This is essentially crossover posture. And also, your right leg appears quite straight here. Just because the right heel is traveling backward quite a bit. So when that happens, again, it promotes a flat turn. Maybe you have overturn, too much turn. So what you need to do is, uh, in the backswing, you have to find a bit steeper plane. Don't allow your right hip move backward quite a bit, and then please straighten the leg. Rather, in your case, you keep the knees flexed all the time here, but have a little bit of extension, extension here. Don't ever go to complete extension. This means your hip is far behind. And then, so still here you have uh, the leaning quite a bit, they're, they're going flat here. But in the end, in the bouncing, yeah, you're ex extending your upper body. Yeah, I've always had issues with the early extension. Mm. So, so, the motion should be more excel rotation about the spine axis here. So, throw, Throw here, 
you have a good rotation about the spine axis. Instead of going flat here, just to turn around the axis, turn around the axis, then you have to bring this a bit higher. And the right elbow has to travel higher. It's not about you're still doing the same thing but lifting the arm, the hands only here. Then you feel really weak, also unstable here. So you have to actually change the way you use the trunk. Now, keep your arms here, lean forward. So from there, lean, lean forward as if you are uh, addressing. From there, try to turn the upper body about the spine axis. Then it goes like this. The no need to completely, yeah, yeah. Still, the right hip will be higher, higher than the left hip, but no need to go completely straight, uh, extended here. Yeah. So, if this is the trunk motion here, on the way down, you also have a similar trunk motion here. With this. Yeah. Actually, have, uh, again, the left hip is moving backward too much. Okay. Then shift it to the left, shift it to the left, and then extend the right leg a little bit, like this. Okay. So you have to maintain the, the action. Now let's start with the rock. So in golf swing, pelvis and above, your body forms an inclined axle chain system. So uh, pelvis. Uh, abdomen, thorax, and shoulder girdles, these form a multi segment axle, which is mainly turns. What axle does is mainly turns about the axis, right? And then the arms, shoulder girdles and arms, and then rope or a club forms a chain, which is rotating around the axle. So if you have a really clean uh, swing motion, then your body shouldn't move like this or like this, a weaving motion here. Right there, the, your body will mainly turn about the axis, turn about the axis. And then the rope goes around, around the axis nicely. This is a simple swing motion. So swing the rope back and forth, continuously. Uh, just a second. It's okay, too close. So the goal is to move the end of the rope around your body. Your body shows a simple rotation or axial rotation about the spine axis. Okay? And then, so here, instead of trying to drag the rope, just try to throw the rope, throw the rope. Okay? Swing back and forth continuously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, 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 good. Feel the, feel the motion of the rope particularly the end of the rope, yes. Oh, this is good. I've been watching a lot of your videos and practicing with my own rope. This is good, this is good. Yeah. So all you do is really keep the body motion you know, to a simple axial rotation, and then let the arms and rope go around your body. And then, when you go to back swing, no, leaning this way, the downswing, no leaning this way. Or as you go in the back swing, no extending here, no extension here. No. Just to keep the excess here, and then throw, throw. And that had a lot to do with my right hip going back, that's why I was uh, a lot flat back swing. Okay. So you have to limit the backward motion of the hip, okay. rather bring the hip up. So then, your pelvis is also inclined forward. Mm -hmm. The pelvis axis is here. So when you turn the pelvis, pretty much about the pelvis axis here, then as you turn, the right hip will go up. And backward and upward, right? But in, in your normal swing, you are back, going backward too much, but not much upward oh. here. So turn this way, turn this way. Yeah. And then when you turn to the right, right legs support your body. So this becomes the foundation. And then when you turn this way, the left leg supports you. Okay. 
you can do something. But for the moment, it's just have a rhythmic throwing motion. Throw, throw, both ways. Now, uh, currently your gaze is too straight uh, toward the tiger. If uh, your face is uh, locked here, it's hard to turn, turn it. It limits the turn. So you have to let the face turn slightly, but still gaze, turn and gaze here. When, when the face turns, then you have a bit more rotation allowed. So uh, staying in the same position in the middle of those two mats, and the aim this direction here, not here, here. So that means you have to flatten, flatten your swing plane a little bit. Yep. Throw the rope faster, 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 faster. Yep. Throw both ways. Throw, 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 throw. Throw, throw. That's the, the main motion here. And then we need to have a consistent swing, uh, swing plane. The only thing in the back swing, still your hands tend to go flat a little bit so that you are dragging the rope. So in the back swing, when I watch from here, the rope, the rope appears to be shorter. Because if it's well stretched, it's well extended, then uh, I see the actual length of the rope here. But if your hand goes ahead, rope is following, and when I watch from this direction, it appears shorter. Right? So in the back you also try to throw the end of the rope so that the, the end of the rope goes ahead of your hand. Yeah. So both ways you are letting the end of the rope go. go. Faster motion, throw. Okay. Now, uh, with this, so what, what I see from the front side is that you are still dragging the hands on this side here, dragging hands on this side here. So the rope is uh, you know, dragged here, dragged here. So try to let it go more away from your body, the end, end of the rope. So when the rope is down here, the end of the rope goes uh, more, ahead, uh, more away from your body. Okay. So let it go here, instead of dragging here, dragging here, let it go, let it go here. And then so move forward and then align uh, your toes with the line. See if you can touch, touch the tip of the teeth. So on the way, uh, on the way down, you can touch this. But on the way back, you tend to keep, uh, you, you keep missing this. You get dragging. Okay. So it appears shorter. So you both ways try to uh, touch, touch, touch. Hmm. So what should happen is. You should be able to let it go, let it go here, let it go. Instead of dragging, swing on this side here, drag it to try to swing on this side. If you swing this side, swing this side, always it appears shorter. But if your goal is to reach, reach far here, except then let it go, go away from you. That doesn't mean you intentionally reach out, yeah. but just, just to make the rope long. Try 
try to try to touch the tip. So move uh, move forward by an inch. Yeah. This is uh, actually good practice. By having a visual target, then you will be able to develop uh, more targeted motion. So usually without the target, what happens is uh, if you drag it here, the rope appears a lot shorter. And then so the end of the end of the rope goes like this, okay. instead of passing the body. Okay. So your rope swing is actually pretty good. Let me record this. So just uh, you know, focus on throwing the end of the rope out, out, throwing out, out. Okay. Instead of dragging, dragging here, just try to throw, throw. Okay, ready, go. Throw both ways. Very good, very good, very good, very good. So now the motion is a lot simpler. Go, throw both ways. So this is possible because the rope is flexible. And you cannot really manipulate the rope motion with the hands. This is your down the line view. And then go ahead and then try to lift the body up and then try to use a, uh, your muscles, right? Instead of letting it go, letting it go. So there's a fundamental difference in here in motion again. So the body motion is the less simple. Throw, throw. Uh, let's feel the same thing with the, the so-called wish stick here. This is lighter than your club, so it's easier to uh, play with. And then, again, as you swing this back and forth, image that you are swinging a rope. Now, this is uh, less flexible than the rope. So with the rope, as long as you throw, then it will automatically go here. But with this, try to bring the end of the Stay the white pole about here so that you can actually see it. Swing, swing, swing again. Throw, 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 throw. Try to throw laterally outward. Okay. To where it would, I guess, fly in that direction. You can, yeah, you can stay in the middle there. Uh, 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 here, here is going flat. In the back, it's going flat. So uh, the only way you can change this in the back swing is you have to change. It. You change the way you move your body. So for the same hand motion or the arm motion relative to the body, if the body goes this way, then it goes uh, low here. If the body turns this way, it goes high here. So by changing the way you move your trunk, change, rotating the trunk, bring the white ball a bit higher, then it's easier to swing this way. Otherwise, if you go flat, always on, on the way down, the ball goes that way. So try to throw the ball this way. And also, 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 also you're holding it here. Let go a bit more, so that you go to the top, go to the top. You want to have your whiteboard here. Not this, but here. Okay. You, you sh should be able to see the whiteboard here okay. that much. And so in the back swing, your goal is not to go to this certain position here. Rather, the goal is to move, throw that whiteboard to this position. So that way you can adjust your body motion. Uh, 
Uh, now, good, 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 good. Pay attention to whiteboard motion. Throw, 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 throw. Yes, yes. So you had really short specs. It's because this arm goes in flat and the, the arm stops about him. Then you cannot go any further. But instead of going to this position in the vaccine, you are throwing the white ball around so that you can reach this position. Again, your focus should be on the white ball, not about your body. It's called the external focus or attention. Very good, very good. Now, now, let's try to throw, currently it's going slightly outward in the downswing. Try to throw the white ball slightly inward where I uh, told the, where I am. Okay, you have to adjust the, the way you move your body in the backswing. Okay, make sure you throw the white ball this way. It's, uh, it's more or less uh, now uh, neutral, not this way. Aha, okay. uh -huh, yeah. In order to swing it this way, you have to turn less in the back side. Because if you turn it uh, too much, then it's hard to turn back here. If you turn naturally, what happens is going to swing that way. When you turn too much, also it tends to become uh, flat here. Yeah? So with this, when you swing, you're going slightly outward. So turn less, and then just bring this up here. Mm -hmm. Going to slightly re uh, reverse the pivot posture, and try to bring more this way here, more laterally. And from there, the hand should come down a bit lower on this side. That way you can easily turn the swing plane toward this direction. So move the right shoulder higher in the back swing. Less turn in the back swing. When you in the back swing, when you lower your right hand, automatically it goes backward. If you uh, squat here, it's automatically goes backward. Then you have to turn this way. Instead, bring this a bit higher. To bring the right shoulder also higher. Stand on the right side, then you can throw this. Also, on the way up, on the way up in the back swing, on the way up, never go to uh, completely dropping, uh, the, you know, the clip this way here. If this is the plane you have to move, then you have to have a feel of uh, bringing the clip head a bit higher here, above your head. Then actually, if you continue this, then you will end up here. But if you feel you're going this way here, then no more lift this up to this position. So in the back swing, again, in your image, because we are looking down here, the hands, uh, the hands are here, the, the head is over there. The swing plane is actually flatter than the, um, the arm, the head motion plane, and the, the eyes are way above here. So in our perspective, when we maintain this angle here a little bit, then as if you are bringing the head a bit higher here, while maintaining this angle here, then you're going more this way here, when the white ball follows this path and continue to automatically is going in. But if you feel you're dropping the clip below the hand, then it's always flat. Bring a bit higher. It's not intentional lift the butt. Let it move more laterally. Yeah. And on the way down, on the way down, turn the pelvis more this way, and then bring the club more this way.
try to bring the hands uh, even lower on this side. Okay. In the down So bring them more in. See how it goes. Yes, that's when you do that, now the plane is more aligned this way or even square. Okay. Typically, what happens is your swing plane is slightly out. Okay. So, when the hands are coming down reasonably, then you can actually maintain this angle here. So you have a good impact there. They keep moving like this. Okay. You can move this way. And then, paper has to turn. Left side is high up and then throw this way here. That this is a comfortable posture. But if your body does not turn much and or the heads are going high here, what happens is you have to manipulate with the wrist. Instead, this way. <laughs> then you can naturally turn a bit more. And then on the way back, bring the club a little bit higher. Now, as you do, try to have more active back swing. Okay. Don't need to worry about downswing. Really have an active throw in the back swing from there, away there, and then let it go. Hmm. Slight, I still see a slight uh, crossover alignment at the top. So still your right side is not high enough. Going more this way. Bring the right shoulder high. Okay, now try to throw the, the ball toward me. Now this is a neutral direction here. shoulder has to go higher in the back swing so that you can bring the hands higher from there coming down and turn this so ultimately again now you have the visual target touch the tip of the, the rubber team Try to touch just the tip, okay, not the body. If you need to move backwards a bit, uh, then they're good. Yeah, still in the back swing, the white ball is uh, going above the tip, like this. It's because you are going flat here. Yeah. Okay. So then bring this and then high on this side here by raising the shoulder instead of bringing the hands high. Okay. But so you have, by moving the right shoulder higher, you can adjust and then let it go. So then bring this down more and then so the let the ball touches the tip and then go a bit steeper upward. how you, you will practice at home. Have a visual target. The rubber teeth is actually good. Even there are longer rubber teeth. Just to touch the tip both ways. Then the clavette path will be a lot more consistent. To make that, you have to adjust the body more.